For an extended range hip abduction, you'll want to lay on a, an elevated surface, so usually not on the ground because you can't lower your leg. You're going to lay down on your side, and rather than just doing a normal hip abduction, which would start from uh, just level with your body and going up, you'll actually drop the leg down and lift up higher. So obviously you have more of a range here, getting more of a stretch in the hip as you lift the heel. Um, usually these are going to be a higher number of repetitions, upwards of 20 or 30. Um, but just make sure as you're lifting that you don't get in the habit of turning the toes up toward the ceiling. So we don't want this kind of thing going on unless you're told to do so. Instead, you actually want your toes turned down. That way you're feeling it in the back side of the hip. So have a feeling like you're lifting the heel up toward the ceiling. Um, and that your hip is rolled forward just a little bit to make sure that, that emphasis is on the back side. So do all your repetitions on one side and then flip over to the opposite side and do the same thing.